the one I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. <clears throat> um, the first thing that I got was I found the leopard print. Um, it's kind of like the mini duct tapes that they have there. Um, last time I hauled the one with peace signs and the one with um, that kind of looks like a ladybug. Um, I was really excited to find the leopard cheetah print one because I really like leopard print. So, got one of those. And then my aunt had also gotten me one. So, now I have two of the leopard print. Um, the next thing I got was I found a bunch of the Scotch Expressions washi tapes. And I had hauled this one in my other video. I've already used it on some pocket letters and then I found these ones yesterday I found this one it's just the ABC one and I already used it and then I found this one that's kind of um, just stripes going all different directions so I got that one the next one I got is this one that's yellow with kind of like the different triangles. And then the last one I got was this one. Um, it says on it... Um, Portugal. Looks like it's got some airplanes on it. It says Thailand. So I got that one. So, so f I don't know if there's any more of these ones out or not, but these are the ones that I have found at the Dollar Tree thus far. So I got one of each of them so far. Um, I don't know if they're gonna, if there's any other ones that I'm missing, but those are the ones, all the ones that my Dollar Tree had, so I got one of each. Okay, the next thing I got was this white container, and as you can see, I put all my washi tapes in it, and the little duct tapes and <clears throat> the little mini ones that I've gotten at the Dollar Tree the character Disney ones so I just got this it just opens like this and I thought it was perfect for all my washi tapes to go in so got that the next thing I got was these stickers the ones that say memories remember it remember my food day and then it has this one that says a moment in time it's the one that's missing the t the typo but i thought they were cute nonetheless for pocket letters are <clears throat> my planner so picked up one of those the next ones i got were these ones that say love i love you really cute pick those up for a pocket letter or whatever and then i got the one that's kind of got the pink and green tint on them you get 21 count on each of these, so got one of those. And then I got the pink, like, rhinestones. You get 315 in there, and I got these for pocket letters. <clears throat> and then I got just the um, clear ones. And then I got, sorry, that's for my Walmart haul. Um, and then I picked up the sticky notes, the flower ones. I've already opened the plastic on it because I already used one of the big ones. But um, I thought these ones were really cute. I have got I got the um, Eiffel Tower ones that they had before. And I've seen a lot of people haul these ones and I've been looking for them. So finally saw them pick those ones up. Um, you get five pieces on here, 30 sheets in each. So pretty good deal got those um the next thing I got and I've already opened this too was um just the ink stamp pad black colored picked that up um I did this haul yesterday on another camera so there's some things that I've already opened things that I've probably put away somewhere and I've forgotten about um I also got one of the hole punchers there but I forgot to bring it out for the haul but I did haul one of the hole punchers also for crafting um, the next thing I got was just the AIM, um, floss picks, and you get a 60 count. Pick those up. The next thing I got was 
this Tinkerbell Sparkling Strawberry Conditioning Shampoo. And it has a little comb on it. I'm obsessed with Tinkerbell and Disney Princesses, so you know I had to get this. The next thing I got, I've hauled before, and it's the Apple Fields Hand Soap. I wash my hands like there's no tomorrow. I'm constantly washing my hands. So I always am picking up hand soap because I go through it quite a lot. So pick that one up. And then this next hand soap I got, I was pretty excited about because I've never seen this one at my Dollar Tree or at any of the Dollar Trees that I go to. I frequent the Dollar Tree and I go to multiple Dollar Trees. I go to more than one. There's quite a few around me. So I hadn't seen this at any of them before. So I was kind of excited Tweety Bird Hand Soap, perfectly pink. And this is the one that I'm currently using now. As you can tell, it's already opened. And it smells really good. It reminds me of like a bubblegum type smell. So, that's the one I'm using now. So, got that. The next thing I got was this Barbie Cotton Candy Scented Detangler for Instantly Smooth Hair. Now, I, the reason why I got the Barbie one is because I got one at Walmart and it didn't really work on my hair. So I went and got the Barbie one and it worked wonders on my hair. It worked really good. Every time I got out of the shower, I would spray it in, wait a few minutes, go and brush out my hair. And I had no problems at all getting through those knots. So I ran out and I went and got another one. So this works good. So I had to get another one. The next thing I got was just some nail polish remover. I ran out, so got one of those. And then I just got a eight pack of AA Sunbeam batteries because I just needed batteries for whatever, you know, it's always good to have some. So got those. Um, the next thing I got was some 4th of July decor. I picked up this glittery sign that says America, USA, 4th of July, Freedom, God bless. And as you can tell, it's sparkly and it's just blue on the back. It has the, um, the hanger so you can hang it on the wall. And I just thought this was so cute. So I got that to hang up on my wall. And I also got some magnets. Um, I've already hung them up, if you can see, over there on my... Um, gosh what is that called the circuit breaker box it's in my room I already got them hung up so yeah I got those also and then I also picked up the three pack of the wands now what I picked those up for was for a floral um, thing that I did because then I also picked up some of the 4th of July flowers and I put the wand in there to make it more festive and then I picked up this vase and it kind of reminds me of like a hobnail vase it's blue really cute so I got that for my 4th of July kind of floral arrangement to put around put up in my room so got that the next thing I got was this scrub brush and it's a pig and the reason why I got this is because I had one of these before that I would use because I have guinea pigs and I used it to scrub their bowl clean because they get their bowl dirty quite frequently. Well, we recently moved and I don't know what happened to the one that I had, but it's just nowhere to be found. So I was really excited when I saw these at one of the Dollar Trees because I've been keeping my eye out for one. And finally, I found another one. So pick that up. And then the next thing I got was just a baby bottle brush. And I got this to clean my guinea pig's water bottles out because it's kind of hard to get in there with like a regular sponge. So, pick that up. <clears throat> the next thing I got was um, this book. It's called Love Lockdown. And it just says on the cover, A Powerful, Seductive, Thrilling Tale of Agony, Catastrophe, and Deceitfulness. And I thought it looked really good and sounded good. I'm not going to read the whole back, but... Um, if you want to pause it here and read what it's about, that's what it's about. And this book was originally $15. And if you're in Canada, it was $17.99. So, for it to be at the Dollar Tree, that's a really good steal on a book. Um, I've bought many books from the Dollar Tree. I've yet to read one of them. But I'm hoping someday I will um, read these all. Because I... 
tend to get books and then just put them on the shelf and never touch them. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get these ones done. And then I picked up this one, Royal Blood. It's a vampire kiss novel is what it says. And again, if you want to know what it's about, just pause it here and you can see what it's about. And then this book retails at, let's see if I can get this off with one hand. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one off, but I can only imagine it's about the same price. And I'm not going to lie, what drew me to this book was the cover. I just thought the cover was cool. And then I kind of skimmed the back and it kind of sounded good. So I decided to get it. What the heck? Okay. The next and last things I have to show are DVDs. Now, I collect DVDs. I have a huge, huge DVD collection. My DVD collection consists of about